Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wave Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Bad Luck Banging, or Looney Porn. And this is a Romanian film that is the Romanian selection for Best International Film this coming year for the Academy Awards, and is from writer-director Radu Jude, and starring Katia Pascariu, who plays Emmy, who is a teacher. And as this film opens up, she's having some very graphic sex with her husband, and they're filming it, and this is not simulated sex going on in this movie. This is legit, like, actual intercourse going on in this movie. And they film it, make a porn video out of it, and then he puts it on, like, a small fetish site, and then it explodes, and it goes all out, and then, you know, all the parents and the people at the school and the kids all find out about this video. And basically, this film is kind of broken into four parts. You have the opening part, where Emmy finds out that she's going to have a parent-teacher, uh, well, like a parent meeting, where basically the parents are going to judge if she should be fired or not, or request her to resign. And she spends the first part of the film going around that day, tension building inside her, and Pascariu does such a fantastic job in this film of really channeling this tension, this fear, this anxiety, this frustration, this sadness, everything that's going on in this woman's head as she's confronting her future, all because of some sons, like some crazy fun intercourse that she had with her husband. And throughout the day, this is sets takes place during COVID as well, so people have masks, and there's a lot of tension going on in terms of mask wearing and stuff like that. And you also see Emmy dealing with all the day-to-day -day basic consumerism and frustration of people, like she gets in a yelling fight with a guy who's literally parked on the sidewalk, and she's trying to be polite, and he just starts telling her to suck him and stuff like that and it just escalates and you have a woman confronting another woman because she's taking too long at the grocery store line and you're just dealing with all the mundane frustrating things in a day-to-day -day basis and we all have had those days where all those things are happening around us but we're so caught up in this one thing that's happening in our personal lives and that sequence of the film feels very relatable it has a lot of great subtle but also like, overt kinds of commentary on social norms and consumerism and, like, the frustrations with um, all the regulations from COVID. And then the second piece, the director, Jude, takes a kind of a left turn and starts focusing on going through all these important terms that are re relevant to the story that we're having, showing the dictionary definitions of these things, but also acting stuff out on screen. And it ranges from some pretty mundane things to very sexual things. More unsimulated sexual acts going on here, but also dealing with a lot of the um, historical political issues of Romania, of like anti-Semitism and supporting Hitler and the Nazis and all that going on because then this film climaxes at this meeting and the tension is real, the acting is really on top of things, and all of these different actors are really embodying these characters in a very genuine way, whether you have this ex-military guy spewing tons of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories about World War II and all kinds of stuff, and this woman who's really confronting Emmy and she doesn't have a whole lot of moral ground to stand on because she bribes teachers to get her kids higher grades and stuff like that. And you have all of this going on um, so much that there's tons of tension and angst and frustration. And then we have these three different endings. And the last ending is one of the most absurd things I think I've ever seen in a movie but it captures all of the frustration and all the commentary of consumerism and media and this sensitivity to sexual sexual ideas going on in this film and prudishness and just explodes in the most absurd way possible. And Jude, this filmmaker, 
has made one of the most bold, crazy, intriguing, and just out there films that I've seen in a long time. And I couldn't help but enjoy every minute of it. It was something different, it was something fresh and engaging, and, like, this is definitely not going to be for everybody, and if you're adverse to a lot of controversial things, you're going to have a lot of problems with this movie, and especially sexual things, because there's a lot, and they're actual sexual things. This isn't, like, somebody getting shot from up here and, like, they're simulating a sexual encounter. No. This starts off with, like, actual pornography, and you're just like, well, that sets a tone, and how the movie ends really comes full circle, and you're just like, wow, what did I just watch? And good for Romania for putting this up for an Oscar, and this one at the Berlin Film Festival, and you're just like, if this and Type 10 both get nominated for Best International Film this year, it's going to be the strangest Oscars ever. And I kind of hope that happens, because they're both really impressive, crazy, bold, ambitious films that this is the kind of filmmaking that, like, you don't get very often. So if you're okay with all the things going on here, it's deeply thematic, it's well acted, it's bold and interesting. Like, I almost took, like, I don't grade on these videos, but like I do on my letterbox, and I almost took it down a bit for, like, just being all over the place and stuff like that, but like, Something about this, I'm just like, this deserves some a, lo a lot of recognition. And for those, like, cinephiles out there who really love some bold cinema, and even if you wind up hating this, I hope that you watch it, because this is definitely unique and interesting and worth taking the time to give it a chance. So go check out Bad Luck Banging or Looney Porn when this comes your way. But those are my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.